premiere episode of the new season of yes. What Chili Wants. How do you feel about the new season? Um, I feel I look good. I, I like me. Mm. And I like I like everything about me on the season. Oh, the show. How do you feel about the show? I like it. It looks very upgraded. Um, you can tell with some more money put into it, some more thought put into it. I like it so far. I'll see by episode four how I like it. Mm -hmm. And now, what can we expect from this season? I mean, is there going to be a season three? Season three? I hope not, but uh, if it is, God bless the guy. Oh, God, I'm putting pressure like that. Um, I don't know what you can expect this. This season, you can expect Chili to open up more, I think. Um, she becomes more of a regular person, like, you know, like a regular person today because she's very attracted to the guys that she's going on dates with. And you can just expect more of me. And then you can see my life more on this season. They're going to show my family, my fiance. So, And then how do you feel about your image in your reality show? And how do you feel about black women's image in general on oh, reality shows? Oh, man, TV? you had to go with the black women questions. <laughs> um, a lot of reality shows these days is pure fuckery. I mean, it's terrible nowadays. It got worse, you know what I'm saying? I thought I was bad last season, but I, I'm happy the way I act. I was just real. I wasn't trying to be nobody I'm not or anything like that. And that's what I try to say myself. That's how I look at it. Genuine people. I'd rather have 20,000 followers that's genuine that really bang with me than a million that's like, oh, I just like you for this facade or, you know, like everybody acting rich on TV, everybody's broke. I don't, you know, I don't like that type of life. And so, then your story is very important going on. Your story is very inspirational because nobody handed this to you. You kind of just really built up your name. Yeah. Worked hard. You've been working for a really long time. So what advice would you give to somebody who doesn't know what first step to take? They don't know anybody in the industry and they want to get to the level where you are. I think my first advice would be to, number one, make out a plan. Because I think everybody goes do stuff like half ass. Like they want to do it, but they don't really know. Research. Read. First of all, when I was in my room, in my mother's little room upstairs, like my mother got a big house, but I had an office upstairs in my room. And my mother would tell you this. My mother was right there. She'd tell you. I used to stay up from 7 a.m., right? I'll go to sleep at 7 a.m. I'll wake up 11 a.m. 11 a.m. to 7 a.m. I was up. Research and read it. If it's somebody getting money black, I wanted to know what they did to get money. Like, I was on every magazine, every book, and online all day. I probably ran up my mother's electric bill because I was online from 11 a.m. to 7 a.m. And I was just hitting people up. Like, yo, I'm seeing so how I got the job at Gawker, a lot of people know is that I wrote them a letter about me. Who's better to represent you than you? So I wrote them a letter about me. Act, acting like it wasn't me, but I knew they knew it was me because it came from Tiana T at Tmail.com. That was back in the sidekick days. And they liked it. And they gave me a job from that. That was my first paid job being a writer. So mm -hmm. I think you just got to go in. Whatever you yeah. do. I don't care if you're a nurse, a teacher, an entertainer. I don't care if you're a hooker. If you're going to do it, you better do it 